talk about uh, cigar giving you a, a deeper appreciation for uh, the racehorse, for the thoroughbred racehorse. Yeah, um, I told you, you know, when I started out, I didn't really want to be a jockey. I didn't love horses, even though my father and my family had them all around. Uh, I wasn't the kind of guy that would go out and just ride through the woods. As a matter of fact, the only time I was on a horse other than the racetrack was on my honeymoon, and my wife begged me to go riding on the beach on a horse. So they were a, a means to an end for me. They were a vehicle for me to make a living, but I, I, li I liked them, but I didn't really love them until Cigar came along. And not only was he a great horse, Gary, but he was very charismatic. I mean, he had that wide eye, and any time you see a horse with a wide eye, you know, every time they look at you or look in your direction, it's like they're looking right at you. And he was a cool horse. You know, he knew when the cameras were going to come around. Um, Justin was three at the time that he won the Breeders' Cup Classic in 95. And Jerry Bailey calls on Cigar for everything he has. The Carrier's awakening second on the inside on the cottage board. And here he is, the unconquerable, invincible, unbeatable Cigar! And Right after the race, we went back to the barn, and Justin, a three-year-old, could pet him on the nose, and he was as nice as could be. So he was as close to a human being as I was ever around for a horse. You know? And he knew, he knew how he wanted to run better than I did.